What's going on, it's boy Joey672 coming to you guys' video right now. So, the undrafted free agents and the draft picks of this year head to the North Care Complex this morning. They practice, they, they get to the North Care Complex, they see these beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful works of art on the wall. Absolutely amazing. Seeing how what this culture is all about, the camaraderie, camaraderie of this team is all about. Doug Pearson has a press conference, okay? Doug Pearson has the press conference. Pretty much talks about cross-training. Talks about, you know, the first-round pick, Andre Diller from Washington State. Talks about him and says, hey, you know, we want him to be the left tackle. We might cross-train him later, but right now we're all we worried about is him being a left tackle. And that's, in my point of view, that he, he's the left tackle of the future. There's no cross-training with him, okay? That's it. No cross-training with him. But there are two other guys, guard tackle type guys. Jordan Malata, the rugby star for Bla drafted last year, is going to be cross trained to be a guard and a tackle on the right side. Matt Pryor, another guy that we drafted, is going to be cross trained into the guard position. Now they put him at left. They put him at right ta uh, left tackle, center, left guard. <clears throat> Matt Pryor has had a lot of reps in camp at different positions. If we have a guy like Matt Pryor to come in. And start, you know, it is what it is. Brand Brooks has got the Achilles injury. He's still rehabbing, still doing his thing. He's getting better. He's on a good pace to come back 100%. But he's going to probably miss two games. Probably two games, most likely. Okay, so you have that. Then all of a sudden, Miles Sanders is going to rock the number 26 in his press conference today. I'm rocking the 26, and I'm going to look good, you know, rocking with the number 26. Miles Sanders is very excited. He said the coaches are very down to earth. Doug Pearson demands perfection. And he can't wait to get his hands on the football this year. And I think us fans can't wait either. And then J.J. Arcega-Whiteside had his press conference and pretty much said, Hey, I've been looking up to Alshon Jeffrey all this time. I've been looking up to Alshon Jeffrey my whole career. It's a guy that I've, you know, with the 50-50 balls, it's a guy that I've looked up to. And you know what? Now he's playing with him. He can learn from him. Okay? Take advantage of that big physical body that he does have. Um, I'm excited about J.J. Arcega Whiteside. I know we all are as well. Future starter on this team. There's a lot of guys that are here. And you know a lot of guys are going to make the team. But you know those certain few guys that you know are going to be studs later on. But I like when these rookies come to camp because they get a feeling of the team. I know mean, it's only the rookies, so there's no veterans here or whatnot. But um, I'm glad we heard from Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders even said on top of everything else that him and Jordan Howard are going to be a nice one-two punch. Pretty much said he thinks that him and Jordan Howard complement each other very well. Um, and they've probably spoken, they probably hung out, and who knows, they probably had a Philly cheesesteak down the street. Who knows what happened. But I'm telling you this right now, this is very exciting. A lot of fresh faces, probably the best undrafted free agent class in the whole league, and the Eagles get to do their picking. And we get to, and when I think about it more, this was a very, very, very good draft, other than us picking a quarterback, very good draft. By the Philadelphia Eagles. Doug Pearson talked about, you know, the strategy of what's going to happen at the right guard position because Brandon Brooks' injury. Last thing, he talked, uh, Doug Pearson talked about Carson Wentz as well. Um, talked about how, you know, he's still giving everybody the lies, saying he doesn't know when he's going to be ready, blah, blah, blah. He looks like he's sick and tired of answering these questions about Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is going to be ready by OTAs. Don't get me wrong, okay? Right now, no. When OTAs and training camp comes, Carson Wentz will be full go 100%. That's when he will be back. But they're annoying the crap out of Doug Pearson with these questions. And I don't blame him. I really don't blame him because it's all, it's all about Carson Wentz. It's all about the quarterback of this team. A guy that you're going to give an extension after this year. So a lot of things happening, guys. A lot of things happening. So as of right now, this is going well. This is a start. And that's all I got to say. I will see you guys later. Shake one up. Fly, fly.